Hello friends, uh, in this video, I'm going to show how we can create a free trial account on Google Cloud. So for creating the free trial account on the Google Cloud, we have the following prerequisite site. It will require one working Gmail ID. We can make use of the other's email ID as well. Other means not the only the Gmail. We can make use of the other company and uh, official uh, email ID as well. But we are making use of the Gmail ID. And second thing, credit card for verification purpose. And the most important is your approx five minute of time, how we can create the account. So what the th first thing we need to do for creating the free trial account, first we need to move into the URL, uh, that is the console.cloud.google.com. And this is the URL. Once you are at this URL, you need to log in with any of the existing Gmail ID. So I can be able to give my Gmail ID over here. So make sure this uh, Gmail ID we have never used. Okay. Once uh, you need to sign in, then only you can be able to log in. So I'm using one email ID, which is this one, which I have never used for the Gmail uh, Google Cloud account. Then I'm clicking on the next. We need to give the password. Once we give the password, you can see uh, I'm able to log in into, it, into the Google Cloud Console and it is giving me the options notification over here that is start your free trial with $300 credit in your account. So how we can start it? Okay. So first of all, we need to click on this activate. Once we click on this activate button, it will redirect us to some form where we need to select the country. Then we need to see the describe the purpose of our need, why we are creating the Google Cloud. And then we can accept these terms and conditions and then we can continue. Before moving in and filling these details, make sure that you are selecting the right gmail if not you can switch it from here okay so what is the purpose simply you can give the purpose here at the others and you can select this checkbox the terms of the services click on continue once you click on continue it will redirect you to verify for your uh, billing purpose so in that you have to provide certain details We'll wait. Now we can see it is at the step number two of two that is asking for your payment information system and uh, never worry about your credit card payment. So it's only for the verification purpose. It will ask you the two rupees and after the 48 hours of the time, the payment is going to be refunded back to you. And there will be no extra deduction from your credit card. So what we need to do into this one. So we need to select on this account type by default it is business. So we can change it to individual, okay. And then here it is asking me the payment card details. So what do you have to do? You have to give your card details. Once you give the card details, either you can give the must order or visa card. So once you uh, enter your uh, card detail, then uh, you need to just uh, make the purchase of RS2 rupees. So you can try it, uh, okay. Meanwhile, I'm uh, pausing my video uh, because I'm entering my card details. And now you can see it is uh, after entering the card details, I'm at this page where it is asking me RS2 rupees for verification purpose. So you just provide uh, the details and make a transaction of RS2 rupees. So 
So you know that I had made the transaction of two rupees. Now it is asking me this pop-up window. So what will describe your organizations? What brings you to Google Cloud? So you can simply select uh, appropriate options from here. If you don't want, uh, you simply select about learn about a specific product services and API. Next, these all are the not mandatory things, but uh, if it is asking, you can just go through this one. Okay. And uh, we can again click over here at the next. So in this one, what you can see, uh, you can select this. Uh, okay, you can select on this uh, data analytics. Click on next. And the next option is what best describe your role. Okay, so who is? So you can simply select this as the engineer or the developer and click on done. Okay. Now you can see it has uh, account has been successfully created and it is getting me the started with the interactive tutorials. So I don't want to waste my time with uh, this. So I'll skip this one. If you are interested, you can make use of this one. So now you can see my account is successfully created with the first project, my first project. How we can see whether it is successfully created or not. So you can just click on this notification and you can see create project it has been done successfully click on this api uh, and uh, there is a billing option so you can click on this billing it will uh, give you the information about uh, your account okay so just wait to see uh, the billing is getting loaded into your machine now you can see the billing it is uh, loaded for the current month from march 1 to 11 okay and uh, these are the billing details you can see here what you got it is plain is coming now okay anyhow no need to worry on that so you can see it is uh, we have activated the free trial versions okay out of 24825 uh, all services is available to me which will be remaining for 91 days okay from the time when i had created my project now so this is all about how we can create the account into Google Cloud. Now, next, what you can do, you can start uh, making use of this Google Cloud for your purpose. What the purpose you want, you can make use of this one. So this is the initial uh, video where I had shown you how we can be able to create the account into the Google Cloud. That is for the free trial versions. If you have any query regarding this one, let me know. I'll be helping you. So drop the comment on the video where I am uploading this one and subscribe my channel for the more videos related to the Google Cloud. Thank you.